a General Electric. Uh, I don't remember what the model actually is. There we go. 7-4545C clock radio. As you can see, it's got a mechanical mechanism. One of the very few that I've ever seen that has actually got a mechanical mechanism. And it's also got the uh, lighted tuning dial. I'll turn that off, the light goes off. It's lit up by a, uh, oh, what would you call that? I don't remember. A grain of sand light bulb, actually, or neon lamp. There's what I paid for it, and I can see the capacitor problem is starting to take place here. So the audio probably sounds like garbage right now, but I'm going to try and use this camera to record this entire video. Yeah, it's getting really bad. Wow. There's a snooze button on the top. You can choose to wake to either music or music and alarm, although the alarm actually doesn't work. I'm not quite sure what the problem is, but I think it's purely mechanical in nature because, of course, this is a purely mechanical clock radio. Here's the other switches. We can see an AM, FM band switch here. Volume knob, tuning knob, both of which are incredibly dirty. And at the back, we've got the knob for setting the date, uh, setting the, uh, the time and also the alarm. But uh, I would do a band scan with this, and I would do all of that, but I don't think it's really in good enough shape to do that. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn it on. Ah, eh, you know what? We'll do a band scan. Why not, eh? This is FM. Hopefully the camcorder lasts for the entire video. It's how it's a little dirty. You need me, Mommy. Move forward, so those are... It's how it's very dirty, in fact. Yeah, not really all that great. So anyways, there is your General Electric model number 7-4545C. No doubt a very great clock radio when it was new, but just really did not stand the test of time. At least not this particular example. It's completely mechanical. I'd imagine there's probably some plastic pieces in there that are broken, and of course, obviously, it's dirty and not very easy to tune. It's kind of stuck. So it probably... Probably do a little bit uh, from some TLC, but I'm I'm not really sure I'm going to give it that TLC. I'm not really in the business to refurbish clock radios, so I've got enough of these things really. Anyways, this one may end up going back, although I can't really go back, can it? No, not really. I'll see what I can do with it. Maybe I'll just redonate it because after all, I'm, I'm a nice person. Or maybe I'll sell it on eBay or something. Either way, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see...